Hey guys, so I'm going to rant about middle schoolers, okay, but right here, okay, I'm in. First of all, there's these sixth graders, right, and they wear their hair literally like this in a ponytail. Have you guys ever seen that? What if I ranted you with this whole video with this? What if this bother you with this ponytail here? I've seen girls put their ponytails like this. Sixth grade girls, and they think this is attractive. Is it attractive? No. Having a dick ponytail in your face is not very attractive. It looks very, very bad. So those sixth graders out there who's doing that, it's not attractive. Why do you do that? So, because I don't want to look like a complete idiot, I'll put my ponytail back here. But, like, honestly, like, I don't... I, t I remember I was sitting across from the sixth graders at lunch, and I'm like... And she had that ponytail, and I'm like... W-F-Alpha. W-F-Alpha. Okay. No. No, no. I'm alfalfa. Alright. So, I know there's sixth grader at lunch, and she had her ponytail, like, in a unicorn form. Like, it was down there, and since her hair was thin and straight, it really looked like it was... How can she see through that thing? Like, it really bothered... It really bothered me. Because, like, why... It's not attractive. Like, how do people find... I don't like it. I think it's really bothersome. But, the thing is, 6th graders, I think they're so cool. Like, in gym, I have gym with 6th graders, not 8th graders. I'd rather have gym with 8th graders than these little 6th graders. Because, in gym, I don't know about your middle school, but my middle school, we have baggy, not like really baggy, but regular t-shirts. Not those, really, not those like, graphic tees where it's all tight and stuff. No. They're like, baggy. Not, not really baggy, but you know what I mean? Well, the whole point of it being baggy is because you sweat in gym. And when you sweat in gym, sign language for, forget. But if you, when you sweat in gym, you need to be, like, airy and stuff. Not all tight and stuff. That's going to, like, suffocate you, like, legit. So I don't know why these little sisters think it's such a good idea to tie their shirts back into a little duck thing over here. And then had this little bright color, and the, pretend this is my tank top, okay? My shirt, but pretend this is my tank top. They have this bright colored, bright pink tank top on, and they tie their shirts literally like this. Is this attractive? No, it makes you look like a fool because you ruin the purpose of gym. I'm not fawful again. Anyways, why do we. Whoever invented this should honestly, like, go die in a hole and, like, get thrown bricks at because this is stupid. Like, why would you do that? And, like, the sixth grade girl looks so ridiculous because she bright colored pink or bright colored blue and she ties her shirt like that. Like, no, I do not want to see that. Like, I remember this girl and she tied her shirt like that with a white tank top, which I guess in the sixth grade, in the sixth grade, that's like a rebellion thing because it's white and stuff. So it's just like, oh, you're not cool like us when they really aren't. So she had her thing and it was all like baggy and stuff. I'm like, um, it's a little baggy there. And she's like, oh, I know. And I'm just like, okay. And also, why do sixth graders think they're so cool? They're sixth grade. They're not cool. When they're the ones who in middle school run to their class because they're afraid that three minutes will go by in 30 seconds. Like, really? It's the purpose of three minutes. I think also is ready to get a watch to time themselves because they really need to time themselves because they run through the class, through the halls. So the only reason why you should be running through the halls is if they go from the front of the school to the back portables. That's the only reason. I don't know if, like, anyone else is portable, but in my school we have portables. Yeah, those little portable classrooms outside the, outside the school really pisses me off. But we have them and have one portable class. Yeah, they should have one. But have you guys seen sixth graders? Like in the first three months of school, they're all like that. And then and then after that, they're all disrespectful to the seventh and eighth graders because they think they're that cool. Like honestly, in gym, there my friend was all like the sixth graders said something mean and looked back at her friends. You know how like sixth graders when they was trying to say something mean, they're all like they're like, haha, yeah, you're a jerk and they look back at their friends. It's not funny. That's like, if you want to say something mean to me, say it to my face. Don't look at your first word approval. If you're not saying nothing mean to them, say something mean to me. So look at my face, not them. And then on top of that, on gym, she was all like, she was all like, yeah, I'm a seventh grader. And my friend's like, uh, no, you're not. And she's like, yeah, I am. How do you know? And she's like, to her friends. And then she, and then my friend's like, um, because you act like a little tiny toxic sixth grader. She's like, well, I'm not in sixth grade, I'm seventh. And, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, prove it. And she's like, I don't need to prove it, I know it. 
And I'm just like, I'm like, girl, you better shut up because you are a sixth grader, okay? You're so tiny taught. You think looking at your friends of approval will get you cool. You're not cool, okay? So shut up. No one wants to hear your little sass back and stuff. You're not cool. You're such a jerk. <clears throat> I got like so mad. That's not the exact what I said, but mostly that's what I said. Because I got annoyed. Like, really, if you're a sixth grader, be a sixth grader. Be you. Do you. Don't do anybody else, okay? Because you're not cool. Like, sixth graders, I know some sixth graders are cool and stuff, and they're sixth grade grade. But don't, like, act like that. Like, those were total jerks. Like, I don't like them. And have you also seen, I like, the sixth grade style. The ponytail on the side. Like, they, the ponytail goes in the back. Honestly, this is a cheerleader ponytail. But my ponytail usually goes, like, in the middle of my head. In the back, where it's supposed to go. Not to the side. Not to the top. Not nowhere else but the back. Okay? I'm just saying. That's where it belongs. That's where it just stay. A fofo. A fofo. Alright, anyways, this just pissed me off. And then 7th grade. When you're in 7th grade, I will always imagine it that you won't get picked by on the 8th graders, and you won't get picked by, the, and you won't be bothered by the 6th grade. You'll just be, like, in your own little world in 7th grade. No, it's not like that. Because, first of all, honestly, to 8th graders, and to 6th graders, not 6th graders, 6th graders don't know me, but to 8th graders, they think I'm a 6th grader. And it bothers me, because, like, I'm on the old walking in the hall. And I guess this kid behind me thought I was a sixth grader so he yelled at me for walking too slow when the people in front of me walking too slow like I remember walking and then him be like walk faster and I'm just like fuck you and then it turned around and turned and it was like one of those badasses in school and I'm like oh shit so I started running because I got really scared so yeah and then you know what really bothers me when people walk slow in the hallway because I have to get from the front of the school to the back portables so I'm like walking in the hall there's this group of nerdy 8th graders. Like, you know you know when they're nerdy. Like, they're, like, with their books hugged to them. They have their little big backpack and stuff. And then just, like... So, and me and friend were walking behind them. They're walking so slow. And I'm like, um, can you move, please? And I yell at her. And, she, and she, she looks at me, and she has to be all cool and stuff. Even though she's, like, one of the geeks. And she's all like, she's like, well, if you want me to move so bad, and go around us. I'm like, I can't, obviously can't go around you because people are going this way when I'm trying to go that way. And you guys have a freaking mall in front of you guys. How can I go around? And she's all like, ah. And then they eventually they part, and I, like, run through them. I, like, push them because I got so pissed. I didn't, like, push them, but, like, I'm not aggressive. But I'm just saying, if you walk in the hallway, don't leave a little mall in front of you. Other people need to get to their class, too. If I'm late to the back portals, my teacher in the back portals don't listen to me. She'll give me attention, and I don't want attention, okay? I have time. I have life, okay? I have life I need to spend on other things, like trolling on stuff, okay? Okay. Also, why do 8th graders think they're all that? I mean, like, I know they're going to be middle school and high school. But when they're in high school, they're going to be scared as, mm. So, I don't know why they think they're so cool. Like, at my bus stop, there's, like, these girls who think they're so cool. But I'm going to laugh. But I, like, can't wait till they go to high school so they can get picked on. Because they're, like, so annoying. Like, they think they're so cool. Like, they pick on every little kid in my stop. Like, they call this one kid Spock. Like, why would you... I don't get that. The point of bullying other people. Like... Honestly, like, I've been bullied when I was a little kid because I'm black and I was different, I guess. But enough about that. I'm just saying, because she thinks she's cool about it. She's like, she, she's like a sixth grader when it comes to this. She's like, she's like, hey, spa, can I cut your ears? And she looks at her friends, and I'm just like, and, but of course, everyone laughs and stuff, and it just, just don't like eighth graders. But I'm not going to be one in, like, after summer ends, which I'm not excited about. Because eighth graders are known for being the jerks that are in the malls that scream across the whole mall to talk to their friend. Oh look, it's been ten minutes wasted of your time. Congratulations, I just wasted your time. Bye.